What's up guys and gals, welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Ziggurat with me, Splattercat. Ziggurat is a first person game, a bit like a Hexen roguelike, maybe mixed with a little bit of gauntlet, in which you must go through ever more difficult lairs as a wizard, fighting against all kinds of weird minions and monsters, getting treasure, getting these crazy little cards that upgrade your character, basically doing a whole lot of leveling up and leveling down the enemy. I mean, you basically leave everything in a heap of rubble, there's booby traps, there's explosions, there's more magic than you can wiggle a finger at. It's it's, it's pretty wild and crazy. Right now it's trying to play the cinematic, so that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and like go around that because we're going to start the game off. So I came into this a little bit like my Wizard's Lizard playthrough in that I've played this game about a couple hours, but I really wanted to learn it with you guys on camera. I wanted everybody to be present as we figure things out so that it's got that feeling of exploration. And so in a lot of ways, this is going to be a bit of a blind playthrough in which much like a Wizard's Lizard, we push our way forward. In each episode, we're going to get a little bit further. Now, I can virtually guarantee you this first episode is going to be short as hell. It's probably not going to go very well for us. Additionally, there are all kinds of things that we can unlock along the ways, like we can kill shamans. We can unlock characters, basically, and I'm not really sure what that does for us. And the first character is Argo, which is kind of funny because Argo is what bikers say when the police ask them in questioning. They'd be like, Argo! And you can look that up for yourself. That's a real thing. The warlocks and the Mayans and all those guys do it. Anyways, I only know that because my old man's a biker. But we're going to play as Argo today. He's an apprentice. He has balanced stats without any particular strengths or weaknesses. Fantastic. We are the human. We didn't pick an elf or a dwarf of any of those more pointy or furry options. We're keeping it real right now. The Halls of Despair. Alright, let's have a little bit of a look around right now. We can jump, we can sprint, we can switch our weapon, we got a map on tab. We can aim a little bit. Lost controls our movement. What is this? Frozen Soul. What does Frozen Soul do? Oh, hell yeah! It's an icicle shotgun. Just what I always wanted. I thought to myself, those lovely icicles hanging from my windowsill, how can I harness this and turn it into a weapon? And sure enough, Icicle shotgun. That would be amazing. It's kind of like a rock salt shell, but with ice. All right, so let's go into our first room and see what we're up against. We start with our trusty handy dandy wand. If you're looking at the bottom left, we have our health. If you're looking at the bottom right, we've got the amount of ammo left on our default weapon. Think of this as basically like the punch. If this was Doom, this would be us punching things. It's not very effective. Whereas if you see those three bars on the right, that's our elemental mana. So if we swap over to the shotgun right here, the ice shotgun, it would use up that blue mana bar that you're seeing. Once we have a red mana bar, it'll use it up when we use fire spells. We have a, I think there's a green one as well that'll go down. Oh, we have enemy minions. Alright, it's time. Oh, we've got evil ostriches of death. Okay. Oh, Christ. We're already trapped. Okay, we can't jump that high. Apparently, we neglected our basketball practices as a wizard child. Wizard basketball. Way more interesting than wizard's chess. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, I get it. You're all chomping and jumping at the bit and excited to see me. I'm excited to see you, too, but I'm out of mana now, so it's time to spray and pray. Ah! Oh, wow, we survived. These things are XP right here. So each one of these you pick up if you look at the bottom center of the screen. That's our XP bar. Those dropped fire elemental mana, so that's cool. Let's pick up all the XP ores because leveling up is pretty important in this game. It's it's good for you. It is recommended in the highest quality and caliber. You will do much better leveled up than you will as kind of the scrawny sack of sorcery that you start out as. What's this room? I'm a little bit nervous. Every time I walk into a room... Ooh, it's open air. Just in case you like to thumb your way through a book in the breeze. Just in case. My breezes always like to blow my pages, though, which is... I mean, I guess it could be really, really friendly of them, or it could be really, really rude of them. I guess it sort of depends on the perspective of the book. But what can I... Can I blow these... Oh, no, there's a thing over here. What is this? The Wizards of the Order. Nobody has ever questioned the power and skill of the noble wizards of Greyhorn. However... In the harsh ziggurat test, no one has managed to escape with all of their limbs intact. One can only wonder what must be inside this puzzling labyrinth to stop anyone from getting out alive. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that it's not too much of a gamble to wager that it's possibly traps and monsters and a lack of physical prowess. I'd rather be up in here with a claymore or something, to be honest. Oh, hell. Oh, they're everywhere. Dear God. Ah! I don't know, Harry Potter jokes, Crucio, Expecto Patronum or some shit. I don't know, I've never read those books. Just die, I have a wand. Go away. Oh no, we've got like Viking skulls chasing us now. That's unfortunate for both the Viking and me. Although, honestly, that is kind of a creative way to use one's remains. Ooh, we have now reached level two. 
Well then, let's press the U button and see what we get. Choose wisely. The alchemy pouch. You may increase your alchemy mana pool. I'm assuming that's the green one. Or the white orb. You may restore half of your maximum health points. We're at like 100 out of 105, so I don't think that really matters. Let's increase our alchemy pool. So I, I would... I think maybe that's the green bar. I'm not really sure. We'll figure that out as we go along. Yes! Gra <laughs> Grave successfully defiled. But anyways, as I was saying, I suppose that after I died, if I could have my skull made into like a haunting device just to scare people, I think that'd be kind of humorous. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you stop that right now. Okay, so we're in a Temple of Doom-esque booby trap room. As is indicated by the large spike trap on our map. How kind of them. Let's go through this door first because this one seems to be lacking in projectile efficiency and I'd rather not risk getting myself blown up going that way. You tend to lose a lot of health in this game when, when stuff blows you up, so I'm going to try and avoid it. Alright. Oh, what is this? Looks like a little TIE fighter floating in the middle of the room. It's a portal key to summon the Guardian. Oh, this is the boss room. Okay, so we take the key back to here. Alright, sounds good. Sounds awesome. Let's have a look around this room. I really hate these little red beaky things. I'm gonna be honest, usually I like animals with beaks, but red beaky things, you are trying my last nerve right now. I mean, I only have one or two to begin with, so it's not hard to get to- where are you? Oh! Your little, like, crossbowman? I feel like the crosshair aims slightly to the left of things. Maybe if I zoom in it'll work better. Yeah, it looks like it does. It's gotta be something to do with the field of view. You can move it around. It starts out at like a 60 degree field of view, which I didn't like very much, so I increased it up to like a 70 or an 80. 90 to 100 seemed like it was a bit too much, like it, it seemed like there was a, like an excessive amount of tearing going on. So I don't know, I may fiddle with the field of view as we play the game, but for right now, what is that? That wall looks decidedly cracked. Oh, we can actually bypass all of the booby traps by going this way. Ha! I shall be no booby today, sir. Can I blow that up? Like that looks like... Yeah! Uh, okay, so we'll zip through there. Oh, bing a ding a ding a ding! What is this? Nothing bad's gonna happen to me when I step in here. There's like a little voice in the background like, <laughs> No! Oh, a secret found, so we increased our alchemy mana pool. Okay. So I guess whenever we get around to actually having an alchemy related spell, I think we're gonna be the cock of the walk. Wait, what is this? Zombie Football Carnage. Arcade game where you kill monsters using a football with lots of power-ups and items to pick up. Wait, is this a... As a fun fact, the game does not feature any zombies. Oh, it's like the developers... So this is the same thing that they did in Rogue Legacy, where they put, like, all of their previous games up on the walls as artwork. That's cool. That's fun, though. I can dig that. I'm gonna try and go through there, and we already know what's down in over here, so we gotta find our way to the key room. Doing that first is key. Let's go over here, and this room is all clankety and weird, which makes me nervous. There's also a decided amount of lava in here. Like, did they pipe that? Is there like, how do you get lava to just constantly flow like that into your base? Aside from building on top of a volcano, which doesn't seem very structurally a sound, I think you would have a real, a real imminent base destruction. So, I mean, I imagine the insurance policy. I mean, the premiums must be just ridiculous. Some of these barrels, so the barrels, some of them have water, and some of them have acid. When you walk into the barrels, they break spontaneously, like if you try and sprint through them, and so watch out for that. That's how I died in my first playthrough, as I sprinted through a barrel, and it had acid in it, and then it melted my face off. And then, no longer having any way to interface with my peers. No, you, you, sir. Okay, we get rid of the skull first. Okay, we got you right there. We got like a little bit too much scatter fire going on with this thing to snipe from a long distance. Hopefully we get like a no. Oh, you almost got you almost got me right there. You almost got me. I was almost boned. These little guys with their crossbows don't appear to be a giant. I need a fire magic spell. They're giving me fire magic just out the ass right now. And if I had a fire magic spell, I could use that. I have a little bit of ice magic, but I feel like we're getting by just... Oh, dick. 
Oh, they're hiding behind their corner humping. They must have experience in WoW arenas. There we go. Just hanging around, hiding behind pillars, just like, hee 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 you can't get line of sight! Ho 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 ho! Oh good, we got ourselves a little bit of HP. Have we leveled up again yet? I would love to level up. That would be fantastical. I'd feel safer if we started with a, with a, like a, a staff. I don't know if that says something about me that's like Freudian, but I really do feel, I would feel better if our weapon was a little bit larger. The portal key! Mostly it's just a piece of wood with a gem sewed onto the front of it. Do you sew wood? I don't know. They sewed wood in this case. It's pretty impressive. That is the culmination of all of our magics. We have learned to sew wood. Which I guess that could be kind of translated in a number of ways. Never sew your wood in front of the kindergarten. You might get in trouble. Might be a great way to get yourself locked up for an extended amount of time. Let's go over there. This is your arbitrary wood joke. I always get pe I get comments like if I do the wood jokes, people get mad at me. If I don't do the wood jokes, people get mad at me. So I'm going with the wood jokes. I'm going to be true to myself. If I would make the joke by myself in a corner, then I'd make it now. I don't know what's going to happen when I do this. Scary Halloween music. Grunkar the Crusher. Our muscle brown. Oh, Christ. Our muscle brown friend here just is always digging on the ladies. That's why they call him the Crushers because. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm sort of terrified. I Oh, he's got like a shockwave? Do I have to jump over that like a... Ow! Okay. I don't want to be anywhere near you. I'm not feeling this anymore. Let me get my icy shotgun out. Ah! Oh, we got like witch ladies now too. Ooh, that was a pretty good shot. How did that still hit me? Maybe I have to be like behind something when this happens. Ow, hell. You stop that right now. Back to the land. Oh yeah, you do have to jump over it. Okay, we got this now. We got this now. We got this by the ass. Maybe. I'm sort of not sure. Our health is not looking so great right now. Oh, that was a waste. Okay, we got her. Yeah, up close and personal. Down he goes and he drops a whole bunch of treasure loot. As if there was any other kind of loot. Ooh, level three. Very nice. We are moving on up in the wizard world. Although, what's the maximum level in the wizard world? That's something of which I am not so sure. Oh, well. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do we go through the portal? Well, let's do our upgrade first. All right. Choose wisely. Staff scavenger. Increases your staff mana pool. Oh, the mana pool... So it increases, maybe we get a staff later on, then switches your mana pools randomly. So like, maybe that's your book mana pool? I don't know, this is weird. Let's have a, can I like look at a character sheet or something here? Let's have a look here. I'm just going to mash some keys for a moment. It looks like we can't look at a character sheet or anything. So I don't know if maybe we have like a book, a staff, and then something else later on. And maybe it's not like elemental. Maybe it's completely, totally different. I don't know, we're learning things right now. Oh, yeah, we're walking into the light. That usually means the adventure has ended. What a concerning way to transition levels. I'd be like, so... Is this like that point in the movie where we find out we've been dead the whole time? Or like, what's going on here? Took us 11 minutes to get through that. That's not too bad. Alright, let's go to the next level. I think we got this. The wand has unlimited energy, but it's the weakest weapon possible. If only we could upgrade it and add like a scope to the top of it. And maybe like a silencer. What is this? The Firestorm Grenade? Oh, hell yes. You know we have to test this out. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm feeling it. Ready to go. We've got things that we can throw, we've got things that we can shoot, and we've got things that we can read. It's seeming like a pretty good day right now. I don't know if I want to use the grenade right now or if I want to save it for a little bit. Oh, God. There's like a satanic carrot coming at us. Ah, up the stairs. Down the stairs, wizard cardio. Oh, Christ. No, evil carrot. You may not mouth me in that seemingly inappropriate way. I realize that I look scrumptious and delicious, but you've got to take me out to dinner first. Ow. Okay, so that thing just like hit me so hard that it went through me. 
Minions must die. Oh, we made it up. To okay. All right. We're good. We're good right now. Let's get some XP. That's right. All of you come home. Wait, why did... No, they all went away. No. Oh, okay. So the power-ups go away. We just learned an important detail. We should probably focus on looting on the fly then. What in the hell is this? Oh. All right. All right. Definitely feeling like my toes just recoiled in collective horror. Eh. I, I think I should go for this door because it's closest. I'm gonna go to this door because I feel better about it. Okay, so we made it. I think I can walk on those if they're out, but I'm not sure. I don't want to risk it because I'm wearing sandals right now. That is the typical footwear apparel of all wizards. It's kind of a union thing. We have to wear sandals. You're free to ruin them as you like. You can put, like, wizard flair on them if you desire it, but... Oh, these ones spit. Okay, so that is... Definitely not the way to make yourself known in high society. Well, at least not well thought of. And oh, we can't sprint and run. Okay, new things learned. Yeah, corridor murder. And because I love picking up XP, we've also got a health potion over here. Yeah, I'll take it. It sounded like we broke the health potion. Like we didn't even drink it. We just broke it over our head. We're just like ah, healing. All of the healing. Okay, and so more XP to be grabbed. Let's grope that real fast. We've already got enough of that. Is there any over here? I also want to look around a little bit further and make sure that we're not missing anything because that destructible wall had me thinking. Had me thinking a whole lot of thoughts, which typically becomes painful pretty rapidly for me, but this time it's actually pleasantly nice. I guess pleasantly nice is a bit of a... Oxymoron. Or not an oxymoron. I suppose it's a little bit redundant, but whatever. Ooh, it actually burned my toes as I was jumping over it. See, we need to soak ourselves in water. If you soak yourself in water, you can briefly resist the effects of very, very hot areas. I forget the name of the effect. It's got, like, a scientific name. It's like the... It's like the Fadu effect, or like the Ladu effect, or something like that. I don't know. It's got a name. I know that for a fact, and it's kind of goofy sounding. Okay, we've got a big, giant room to hold out in. I'm going to focus on murdering anything that shoots projectiles first. I think that's what we're going to... Oh, does the floor hurt me or did I get bit? I can't tell the difference. I think I got bit by something. Hell. It's like camping all over again. Spending the whole time running away, screaming and getting bit by things. Only this time there's a whole lot less 7th graders around. Eh. Okay, the green floors don't hurt me. This will not be a recreation of my summer camp experience. Go away! Who designed this place? And secondly, how do you... F oh my god, they're all so fast. How do you feed this many critters? Like, do you have like a full staff of just zoologists that are supposed to take care of this for you? Or is that just handled like magically? You've got the whole system set up on its own. I really like this game so far. As far as I can say for this first look, I am really enjoying myself. This game is ridiculously fun. Okay, so let's pick up our mana. Unfortunately, everything else is degenerated on me. Let's pick this up. So Staff Scavenger restores. I'll just go with the Staff Mana Pool, I guess. We haven't picked up a Staff anywhere. So I guess we'll just kind of carry on until we have our hands firmed graspily upon the wood of magical wizard kind and wizard tradition. Stop that. I zap you into submission with my purple bolts of futility. And they're not impressive, but they eventually get the job done. My frab just bolts of utility. This room looks way too large for me to feel comfortable. Oh, and they're already coming after us. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Do maybe like a small bit of bait and switch action. I'm gonna kite around the edges and we're just gonna stay flying right here. I don't know if I'm like magically enchanted to be faster than your average wizard, but I'm feeling pretty speedy right now. Oh my god, there's so many. All right, let's go ahead and line up on them. I'm not gonna risk making a grasp at any of the good stuff over here just yet. Oh, he's up close. He's going to try and point and blank me with some emu vomit. These emus really do. Like, I I think we should probably call a veterinarian. These emus are not feeling well. These emus. Like, we're cassowaries, you asshole. Like, Alright, I can't tell the difference. I think one thing has a fluffy thing on his head. I think that's the owl. I ate that one right to the face. Okay. Slightly embarrassed. 
Don't you despawn, damn it. I want my... They need to get rid of that. That's the only feature so far that I don't like. Despawning loot is sadness. That is not friendship, and it is not amazing. Okay, so we found the boss room, the portal keys, what we need now. Let's flip back. And in so doing, we shall redirect ourselves towards the location which holds that which we desire. Uh, not this room again. Can I tip two through the middle? Oh, I can't. Okay, so that was a scientific test that we failed with flying colors. Like, failed with flying bichrome? I don't know. Like, if you pass with flying colors, do you then fail with flying grayness? I'm not really sure what the opposite of that. It's got to be failing with flying, or failing with floating grayness. There we go. There. That seems nice. Okay, so we've got the key. We can now summon the guardian of the floor. Which is good, because if we were summoning the guardian of the ceiling, I would be terrified. That guy, he's got aviation down. He's done all kinds of aeronautical research, but the guardian of the floor, meh. Not so scary. Mostly landlocked. What in God's name is that? Okay, running away. Oh, they've got swords. No. Sir? Sir? Okay, so I'm going to save the rest of my mana now that we've... I should use the grenade, huh? Let's use the grenade. Ah, get naded. Oh, that didn't work out. Do I have to hit him with it? Okay, I think I have to hit him with it. Yeah, there it was. I was waiting for the sweet spot, and we got it. A little bit of health back. Got a little bit of that. A little bit of this. Okay. I like this game. I'm enjoying myself. This is the most fun I've had in a little while. It reminds me of Hex, and I think that's what it is. There's not nearly enough medieval first-person stuff, or at least fantasy first-person stuff. So now, we go back to fight the boss, who I think is in here. No. Where is the portal key at? Oh, that's where we got the key from. Never mind, we went exploring after this. We went exploring for magic and fun. And we found mostly fire. And rather large blisters. I mean, my sandals are really, really uncomfortable. They're not quite broken in yet, but the giant fire pits on the floor certainly didn't help, I don't think. Sprint through there. <laughs> my tootsies remain intact. And then we'll go back through here. Let's see what this boss has to offer us. I bet he's got nothing. I bet he's a punk. I'm talking a mean game now till I'm running around screaming and hiding my face from death. <laughs> Queen Amanda. Well then, Amanda. Let us meet in the field of wizard battle. So she just, like, brings a whole lot of homies in with her. That's basically... Her thing is she, like, rolls deep with crew. And so... Oh, we're already out of... No! I suppose this might be a reasonable opportunity to start playing around with the grenade, uh, considering they're all sort of clumpy. They're like cat litter. Oh, that was terrible. What an embarrassment to myself and to everyone around me. Okay, we got her. No! There it was. I wanted to get like two of them. Where's the real Amanda? Will the real Amanda please stand up? There she is. Okay, we're going back to the wand. Get up in here, wreak some havoc. A little bit of damage on Amanda because we can do it. I believe. Oh, I believe so much that that hurt like hell. We've also got... Let's go back to our wizard book. And we can actually, like... I think we can probably spray and pray our way through this. Slightly. I'm thinking some of the secret here is maybe just to go straight and center with the shotgun on every single boss because it seems to be doing a pretty good job of laying them out. Let's grab as much mana as we can. We've hit level 5 too, which is even better. We are now divisible by 5, which anybody who is familiar with the Nerd Castle will know I love things that are divisible by 5. So we have our spell mana pool. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase the size of my spell mana pool. So you've got your wand, spells, alchemy... Wand spells, alchemy, and staff, it's looking like. So that's pretty cool. Let's finish up the level. And off we go into the white light and towards our next adventure. 
I think I'm going to break the episode off right here. I think we're doing pretty well right now. I'm excited about this, and hopefully we'll be able to finish the run. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the first episode of Ziggurat. If you want to check the game out, I've got all the information down below in the description. It really is quite fun. I mean, for my first, you know, couple hours of gameplay, I'm still having a blast with it. So I will see you all there. Take care, everybody, and I will see you in episode two.